Hey, hi everybody. I was out here in the kitchen and I was going to experiment with the recipe and I decided to put it on video because if it doesn't work, I won't share it. <laughs> so if you're seeing it, you already know it works. I am taking Grand's biscuits and turning them into cinnamon roll logs. Sometimes you just want something sweet like a cinnamon roll, but who wants to go through all that hassle of making the dough and waiting on a rise and, you know, all that stuff. So, for me, I had these biscuits in, a, in the fridge that I needed to use. I bought them for something else and then didn't use them. So, what I'm doing is I'm just taking a little bit of butter I'm spreading it on this gram that I kind of rolled out. It's not, they're going to be rustic. I'm not going for a perfect shape or anything. Okay. I take a little bit of ground cinnamon, just sprinkle it across. And then I take about a, between a teaspoon and a tablespoon somewhere, just a little bit here. I try to leave some uh, edge down here so when I roll it up, I've got something to a seam. Okay. And it doesn't work very well because the sugar just goes everywhere. Okay. And then I kind of smoosh it in a little bit. And then I'm going to put them seam down on my pan. So when I get them all done and I get them baked, I'll be back and see if they're a winner or a loser. I'll see you in a couple minutes. Hey, welcome back. We've got our cinnamon rolls all done. Let me get my hot pan. Get them a little closer. Here they are. Now we're going to find out if they're any good or not. So what I'm going to do, lift one of these off, get nice and brown on the bottom, and I will cut them into thirds. There you go. We'll see. I might need to add more cinnamon sugar, but maybe not. Mmm. Those are really good. And you could put a lot more sugar in there than I did. Or do a mix of white and brown sugar. They're very good. It could be just a little sweeter. So, next time I'll try brown sugar and white sugar together. Try and get them a little sweeter, but they're good. They're very good just this way. And if you don't like things overly sweet, these are probably perfect for you. Okay, well how's that for a four minute video? Minus the cooking, <laughs> mostly. <laughs> you didn't get to see me wrap all eight of them. That would have been boring. So it's taken me maybe half an hour from start to finish. So, quick, if you got little ones, you can let them help you. It, it would be a great, easy recipe to let the kids get in on. And these are not diet. These are a splurge item. So, till the next time, y'all. Thanks for watching me here at Cat's Cooking Kitchen. Of course, I'm Cat. You can find me on Facebook and YouTube under Cat's, with a K, Cooking Kitchen. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.